and welcome to my studio. I want to give you a tour of my new studio that I've been renovating for the past few months. I know a lot of you have been following along, so I thought I'd give you a quick tour of everything. And if you haven't captured, caught the before, I encourage you to go check out my stories and check out the before so you could really see the transformation of this space. So right over here, we have my tool corral area where I have my power tools and my hand tools and I kind of keep everything in this area away from my fine art creating and picture hanging things like that have that area and then over here is the main creating area and this is my u-shaped workbench section where i actually do my encaustic painting with encaustic i have to work flat so it's a great nice big space so i can work on big pieces here and have my medium and stuff here i have all of my encaustic supplies underneath uh, try to organize it as much as possible with my brushes and tools, heat guns and things like that. And then I have over this way my flat files with my ephemera, things like that, inspiration area, pieces that I'm working on now. And over here, I love this big window. I can look out at the really beautiful willow tree and it's nice. Even though my back to it's a lot sometimes, I'm able to kind of turn around and like really enjoy that scene. This is some more art storage stuff, uh, brushes, pens, oil paints, things like that. I like to keep everything really organized because it helps me create faster and more efficiently. So I love my little label maker here. And over here is my office and kind of lounge area, relaxing area. It's really important for me to have in my studio a creative retreat sanctuary area. So. I like to read and do research out here as well, so I have a little sitting area with my inspiration and a lot of natural history. I have my work desk. I'm really in love with this desk. A friend created it for me. It's all hand done. It's an original piece that was um, upcycled from a vintage piece, so I'm loving that. And it's just it's a really nice, uh, inspiring area to be in. Just kind of sit and read and relax as needed, taking a break. Encaustic's very physical work, and I'm standing a lot and bending a lot, and so it's nice to be able to come out here, sit down, lay down, whatever I need to do. Here's a little more inspiration storage area. Under here is like all the books that I use for my backgrounds, my ephemera. So I have a whole huge section of books in there. And through this door, which I'll show you one day, is a blueberry patch in more nature. Kind of coming around here, we have a library I'm working on building for future students and residents, a lot of reference books, inspiration books, how-to books, different areas in there. And this door, behind this door, which I'm not gonna really show you, is the future living accommodations for our residency program. I'm really excited about this new program we're starting, the Verdency Project. It's gonna be a residency and workshops and all kinds of great things, and hopefully we'll be able to get started in the spring. One of the things I really love about this space right here is the gallery wall. I've never had a gallery wall or any wall space in a studio before. And it's nice because I can have artwork up that's finished that I can put on display. I can photograph it a lot easier. I also can have kind of in progress work so I can put it up and step back and really take a look at it and assess what it needs, what it needs to be changed, what else I want to do to it. Sometimes it's important for me just to really sit and stare at a piece for a while before I know if it's finished or what it needs. So this gallery wall is really awesome. I plan on keeping it as blank as possible. And you might have noticed there's a big blank space here. And this open space is really, can be a lot of different things. I can add work tables for when I teach classes or I have guest teachers. I can add chairs for lectures or talks. I can have get togethers, critique groups, anything I really want this to be kind of a transitional space that can be used for a lot of different things. So that's why I'm kind of keeping it open and not cluttering it up too much. And last but not least is something that I think is really cool. I've never had a bathroom in any of my studios before, and this one happens to have bathroom. And it was really scary before, but I put a lot of work into it, completely redoing the floor and the walls and the sink and everything. So I'll give you a quick peek of the studio bathroom. So I just kind of put in the faux fireplace and vintage pictures and some artwork and so it's a lot more comfortable space. And one of the fun things I also did was paint the 
front and back of the door with chalk paint, chalkboard paint, so I can write myself little messages, reminders, my kid can draw on the wall for me, and just a fun little addition to the space. So I hope you enjoyed this tour, and if you have any questions or comments or want to know anything else, I'd be happy to answer them for you and share what I did with you. It was a really labor of love project from the electricity having five track lights put in, insulation, drywall, flooring, baseboards, everything was done. So I hope you enjoyed it and are inspired for your creative space as well, and I will be seeing you soon.